Welcome to Jake Makes. Today we're going to be attempting to finish up the CO2 powered air rifle. But first, let's get y'all up to speed to where we are at this point. Now, I'm a smart dude, as you all know. I mean, not to brag or anything, but I'm kind of brilliant. See, this is how I'm gonna attach the magazine in all my unnatural brilliance. I'm going to take this T, which is the same or slightly larger diameter as the barrel and the top section here. I'm going to cut here. I'm gonna cut here, basically cutting the bottom quarter out, and it will then be able to fit right on top of this right here. It's going to both completely stop up this hole right here where all that air is escaping, as well as stick the magazine right on top of that hole, allowing the ammo to feed right into that inner barrel. Don't tell anyone, but I'm literally a genius. Oh yeah. All right, you guys might be wondering how I got these two parts together. I actually just force threaded this uh, 3 8 pipe nipple onto the copper T coupling. Should work fine though. Get a load of this. I can take the same screws that I took out when I took the gun apart in the beginning and use those same screws to attach this thing down. Now, I don't care who you are, if that isn't awesome, you need to uh, seek mental help. Okay, pizza Pringles. It kind of tastes like someone ate a bunch of pizza, then puked in a bowl, and then they took regular Pringles, dipped them in there, kind of waved it in the air so it dried off, and then stuck them in the box. You can't stop eating them. Wrap it in duct tape, just like we did the barrels. Cut it through this hole in the cap, and then bend it again. And that gives us our spring tension for the balls inside here. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as you can see, boom, drops right inside. You fire it, it closes over that inner barrel, fires, boom. It's been a while since I've uh, recorded anything and I'm not sure if I filmed me actually showing exactly what's wrong with this gun, so I'm gonna go ahead and summarize real quick the problems we've got here. Basically, it's just super, super, super lacking in power. It's kind of complicated to go into. It uh, has to do with how the paintball gun works. There's a lot of areas for air to escape, like it's not a tight sealed gun like other air guns are so I've got two options at this point to make the gun work like I want it to one to bypass the blowback mechanism I've taken apart the gun 
This is a piece from inside the gun. Uh, what I was thinking of doing was filling this little port that allows air in to the back, which powers the blowback mechanism, filling that little port up with epoxy, which theoretically, you know, would put 100% of the pressure through the barrel, so it would be a lot, lot more powerful. The only other thing I could do is change the gun over to fire one quarter inch diameter steel balls. Much, much smaller, much, much lighter. I found a barrel that actually fits them much, much better. There's like zero room for air to escape around it. Blah, 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 blah. Let's test out the smaller barrel and see if we're getting enough power. That was pretty powerful. That's shooting pretty fast. I'd guess about 400 feet per second at least. Both sides. That one went through the bottom and the side. But I want it to be more powerful than that. Okay, I have disassembled the gun for the 235th time. Got this part out. And what I'm gonna do is stick this in some uh, alcohol or something to um, degrease it and make sure there's no oil on it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can stick some epoxy putty or epoxy in those holes and fill them up. I'll go ahead and put that gun back together and we'll see if that worked. Okay, let's see what this does. But before we do that, you need to do something. You need to go right down below and see that button? That little button that looks like a thumbs up? That's a like button. You need to hit that button. You know what else you need to do? You need to subscribe to this channel. Cause I mean, it's a great channel. And when you subscribe, you need to hit the bell. I'm first gonna give it a try with the quarter inch barrel since I've already got that on here. I didn't even see that. I wanna try it with the other barrel. That wasn't bad either. Okay, so I think I'm going to stay with the 3 8 inch steel balls because I've already come this far with them. I've got a magazine that works. About the magazine, I actually realized that it will still blow back just by the amount of pressure up here as it's shooting the ball out. So that means my magazine will still work. Actually, no, the magazine won't work. You see how there's a large gap between the inner barrel and the outside where the magazine comes in. See how there's a large gap between there. The striker is a hollow cylinder that comes forward and it comes across that section blocking off the magazine. Well, because there's a gap between those two, you'll have a ball in the chamber and then you'll have another ball stacked right on top of it. But because there's a gap, the ball is sitting about right there. So when the striker comes in, it has to push that ball out of the way. And I think it's slowing down this striker enough. It's not letting out enough air all at once. And so it causes the shots to be really slow and it doesn't actually push them out of the way all the way. So then you have the ball basically rolling out of the barrel. So I've been doing some thinking and I believe I have a way to make this work. We're gonna modify the magazine a little bit. The only difference is it's not going to be semi-auto like the original plan was because of everything I just explained. Instead, you're just gonna have to like cock it first and you'll see what I mean when we design it right now. Why did I snap? First thing we need to modify this a little bit. I'm going to need to cut the left side of it out. I am an idiot. I just cut that piece out, right? And then I hooked the gun back together and then I fired it and now it's it's shooting <laughs> it's shooting slow again. Like before I modified it, it's shooting slow because that piece there sealed off any of the air from coming through the magazine. So now that part is open, so enough air is being shot up into the magazine and not all the way out the barrel that the projectile is now going slower again. This was gonna be so simple. Okay, so back to the quarter inch barrel because it's definitely not moving fast enough to fire these 3 8 inch steel balls. And I think I can make a magazine work for the quarter inch steel balls, so it should all be good.
Let me show you its features. So we got the scope mounted up on top on these rails. I also put a little piece of foam underneath the copper pipe thingy so that it seals off everything airtightly, which is great. I also mounted this box of one quarter inch slingshot ammo right on the stock. So you have your ammo storage built into the gun, which is super, super cool. Got my CO2 tank mounted on the bottom right here. Don't know if you can see very well, but I also epoxied sealed shut the opening of this thing, which also keeps all of the barrels in place. They can't slide up and down anymore which is good because every time you fire this, it generally ends up pushing on those because they're not firmly sealed in place. Now it's firmly sealed in place and it can't go anywhere. Now for the magazine issue, what I did was just decided to, um, you twist the barrel back and forth to load another round. So I twist it down to where the hole lines up with the magazine. The magazine pushes a ball in. I twist it away, closing that chamber off, fire, twist it back, load the next one, back, fire, go you know to I mean. I forgot to film that part in the shop. I'm on vacation right now. Anywho, let's go outside and give it a quick test. I'll do full testing in a testing video, which will come out soon, but for now, let's give it a quickie little test and see how it works. <laughs> it works! Awesome! That's about all we got for today. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Jake Makes. Please hit like and subscribe to see all my future episodes. Now, please get off YouTube, go do something creative with the brain in your head, and I will see you next week. Jake out.